Notts County Talk back with another match preview. Another one. It's, it's nice to be back in it, actually. It is, yeah. Um, we're on TV for this one. It's at home to Altrincham. A game that we're going to be looking to put right. I think we should have really won at the weekend. So I think we need to get back to winning ways and it's going to be a game that we're going to be digging in deep to win and hopefully get a few goals on the way. Yeah, definitely. Um, looking at the stats, again, it's very early. So this first one is pretty irrelevant. Not sit in 21st. Altrincham sit in 11th. If you'd have said that, <clears throat> even on the before the opening day, you'd have said it'd probably be the other way around. <laughs> but but there we go. That's how football goes. And the opening day has some weird results, doesn't it? Um, we obviously lost one nil at Dover, a late header, um, and Altrincham drew nil nil with Weymouth. I think that's a game that both teams would have been happy with not losing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> get a point on the board in the national league, very solid. Um, so it's a, it's it's a decent start for them, and if they can get any points from the Knots game, it's going to be a very good start as well. Yeah. Um, looking at last season, they finished incredibly strongly, didn't they? they came up through the playoffs. They beat York, who were heavy favourites, and they finished with uh, a high number of goals, sixty-two. Um, so they know where the goal is. That they're, they're a team that can put the ball in the back of the net. They didn't concede that many last season. And they had a goal difference of twenty uh, plus twenty-two, albeit the season was cut short. But on paper, it's it's definitely not going to be an easy game, is it? No, I don't think so. Um, so we're going to players to watch. Before we go on to players to watch, though, one player that I did want to mention that does seem a bit odd, doesn't it? Uh, Jordan Hume, or Hume, however you say it. He he's gone to fire, so he's dropped down a league, hasn't he? But he's played in the last three seasons that he did play for Altrincham, and he got seventy goals. So you've got to look at that. I think that's a, a lot of goals they're missing out on. So, well, I've just talked about scored sixty two. It was the third best in the division, and they've lost. They've lost that. Yeah. So maybe they've they've lost the goals, but you know maybe there'll be a bit of that. A bit of money talks. A bit of money talks, mate. Yeah, probably was. Um, yeah, drop line division. So players to actually watch. Yeah. Uh, we've got two that we've picked out, and a massive thank you to Full Time Robbins on uh, Twitter and YouTube helped us out with this. Uh, a lot of really good information. Still can't find a Dover fan from last week, but. It's all right. Um, yeah, so first is Yusufu Cisse. Now, I've heard his name flung around uh, at Blackpool. He's had a couple of loan spells with Altrincham. Now, he is a very, very quick winger. Um, his previous loan spells, I think, were blighted by injury, from what, from what we've been told. But he is a very quick winger, um, and he is a good outlet for them, creative. Yeah. Uh, he's someone we're going to have to watch, because we've got Brinley, we've got... Uh, Kelly Evans we know can battle down the wing I'm yet to really see if Chickson has the pace to keep up with the quick winger we'll have to see but I definitely think on the right hand side we do have that pace definitely um, to sort that out and last of all I'm very surprised I didn't even know he joined Altrincham Max <coughs> Clayton so uh, 74 appearances in the league for crew in the football league um, played for Bolton Bolton actually signed him for 300,000 yeah yeah Got a heavy injury though, didn't he? Yeah, what a signing, Max Clayton. Mm -hmm. Like that's a fantastic signing. He sh he would for me come into the Knots team. Possibly not starting, but he'd definitely make the squad. Like that's a very good signing for Altrincham. So you've got Yusufu Cisse and Max Clayton. You've got uh, Josh Hancock as well. They're just they're a team built of solid players with a bit of flair added. And um, you looked at it on paper before the season. I'll admit, I thought not so not so got a very very good chance here. It's not going to be as easy as we think. No, no chance. Moving on to team news for Knots now. Now, at the point of recording, it's about half six. Um, we haven't actually got any further information no. on any injuries or possible players that we've not really thought about, even if Carol Roberts is feeling better after obviously playing on Saturday. So I'm going to, off the limb, say I don't think McCrory's going to be up for it and I don't think um, Turner will be, be up for it either because they've not had the minutes. They've obviously picked up injuries. McCrory actually had surgery, didn't he, over over the summer? So, other than that, you know, we, we're looking fairly fairly strong with a, quite a bit of depth, I think. So, I'll move on to our squad. Now, in goal, Sam Slocum. Yeah, hundred percent. Mm, I don't know, ninety five percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, he's solid. He? You don't really need to say much more than that, I don't think. But uh, yeah, right back Kelly Evans. If we say it every week. If you watch the channel, you know me and Tom are massive fans. You've got of Kelly a tattoo on you, Kelly. Yeah, tattoo. I've actually got a massive tattoo of his face on my back. Yeah, I'll show you one day. But uh, yeah, centre backs, <clears throat> Ronson and Lacey for me. 
Um, yeah. As much as we didn't see it all the game, and I might regret saying this, I thought Robinson looked quite good against Dover. He's stepping into he the field. Ma- like he looked massive and he, he looked quite agile, and it, you, you don't really see that too often in, in like a, a big rugged centre back, do you? So he, he impressed me for what I did see. Yeah. Um, Lacey sort of picks himself, doesn't he? Quality player. Yeah. Uh, left back, Chickson. I say not. I was impressed by him at Ugston. Not really seen or heard too much from him other than that, really. I don't think he's impressed as much as he should have. No, I don't. But I do feel like he, he, he's got that fire in his belly. And I, I think it will show. It will yeah, come it was, through in the was, next couple of games. Yeah, he was playing on quicksand on, on Saturday. Well, this is so. it. He, he was, yeah. That pitch um, was awful. Oddly yeah. actually said after the game that their manager came and apologised. That's the pitch when you know it's bad. bad yeah. That's when you know it's bad, yeah. Um, yeah, we're... we're We'll, we'll obviously flash the team at the end. We're sticking with our four two two two, aren't we? Um, yeah, I that, think so. That we went with. So um, Reeves and Doyle sitting in front. Yeah, uh, I'll be happy for Jim O'Brien to drop in any of those. I really would. Mm. Um, I think he is a, he's he's okay on the left, but he's a lot better in the middle. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's Reeves and O'Brien in that position, and then that leads us to probably the most. Uh, not controversial but up for grabs positions they're two attacking players because it's how I use them now we went for Enzo and Rodriguez uh, for our last preview um, this time we're not are we no we're so for... we're going for Rodriguez and Roberts aren't we yeah f- for yeah. obvious reasons Roberts sort of picks himself whether or not he's feeling it af- after Saturday you know after coming back from an injury on a yeah. heavy pitch like that he was slipping all over the place, wasn't he? Yeah. So he's obviously not feeling 100% confident on his feet at the moment, as you would. Uh, Rodriguez, he didn't play, did he? No, so that, that tells me he's going to play in this game. You'd like to think so, because he, he impressed, I think. He, look, he looked quite good, you know, in yeah. uh, pre-season. Yeah, yeah, so you've got to balance that out right as well. If we're playing a 4-4-2, I wouldn't like to see Rodriguez necessarily out on the wing, mm. um, unless he's given licence to drift. Yeah. But I think the way we, we've set it out in a 4-2-2-2, Roberts and Rodriguez can play along, along sort of the attacking midfield range, whereas Enzio needs to be stuck out wide for me. Um, I think we might see Enzio. This is the thing, though. It, it gets to a point where you, me, my opinion, uh, you wouldn't really mind seeing any of them. So you, no, you no, could no. have like Enzio Roberts, or Enzio and Rodriguez if they want to ref Roberts to make sure he's healing properly. I mean, you'd be happy, wouldn't you? Because you look at his performances last season, Enzio. For me. He was probably the most improved player of the season. Mm. Yeah, work rate, definitely. 100%. Uh, and then strikers, we're going for Wooten and Thomas. I was very much, you'll see we've put Knowles on, on the um, graphic as well, but we're going for Thomas. I was very much, I wanted Knowles to play. I said it before the Dover, <coughs> I said get through this game, play Knowles. Um, but Thomas impressed us, didn't he, from what we saw. Yep. And we can't win this game and rotate. We, we've got to go and take the game and win. I think Thomas is a, Fantastic player still. Yeah, I think he, he just creates a nightmare, doesn't he, for the the, the, the back line. Mm. He, he's running in, like, just, he can run off the back line so well, I think he's re- awesome. really causes trouble. Yeah, um, Wharton as well, his finishings. For me, this game is far from a must win. Um, <clears throat> like, it's not a, if we don't win, Things that's gonna it. Happen, yeah. And this is not negativity, <clears throat> but we have to go out there and we have to put a performance in. Yeah. 100%. We, ha- we have to because there was a talk of a reaction from York to Dover there was no reaction now we're on our own pitch Medellin's going to be better than Crabble at Dover um, just got to see more we've got to see more it's going to like a fresh year carpet compared to Dover it, it is and I, I think I don't know I don't know if Altrincham will come to get the win I don't know we saw a lot of teams last, last season that didn't mm. that literally didn't come to get the win um, we saw a lot of different tactics actually at yeah. Medellin but solid all being honest yeah score prediction my 4-0 last week was a shocker <laughs> I'm going 2-1 knots I think um, Wharton will get one and I'm hoping Rodriguez gets one get off the mark I'm going 2-0 uh, I don't think it'll be comfortable early on I think we'll get we'll we'll get a goal and then we'll we'll settle in and grow into it and I think we'll just have too much quality um, and I think Carl Wharton will get a double. Uh, the game is we haven't mentioned on <coughs> BT. Yeah. We don't yet know if there's going to be any streaming of this. I would assume not because I think BT will want to reserve the rights for this, which is a real shame for the fans that 
you don't want to buy BT for one game sort of thing but yeah. you know let us know how you're watching it <clears throat> hopefully not to allowed to stream it um, if they are Altrincham fans help the club out get on by the stream um, it will be good quality touch wood touch wood but yeah we, we've seen it from it in, in pre-season good quality so uh, yeah we just want to know your score predictions lineups uh, in the comment section below and please don't forget to like and subscribe